Welcome to the SPSS demonstration video for Chapter 3, Central Tendency and Variability. In this video, we'll be exploring methods to compute various central tendency statistics as well as various variability statistics. There are actually multiple methods to come up with each of these sets of statistics uh, within SPSS. Uh, mean is such a, a basic concept in the practice of statistics that there are just many ways to go about it. I'm going to show you, uh, I think, two of the easiest ways if you're specifically looking for central tendency and variability information, but there are several others. Uh, in order to determine the central tendency statistics, I'd recommend analyze descriptive statistics frequencies. Once you're here, and this should look familiar, uncheck the display frequency tables option. We don't need it for right now. Uh, unless you want that information as well, but uh, for our purposes here, not really necessary. Move all of your variables, all eight, over to the right. Uh, you can do this by dragging them one by one. Uh, I recommend clicking on the first, then holding shift and clicking the last to highlight all of them simultaneously, and then clicking to move them over to the right as a group. Next, click on the statistics sub-panel. This gives you various options for what you want to report. And here you can get the mean, median, mode, standard deviation, variance, and range all in one place. Hit continue and then OK. And the output that comes out will give you all the various information that you need uh, for each variable in terms of both central tendency and variability. Uh, and you'll notice that for the modes, it actually reports that there are multimodal uh, results here. So even though we have, uh, even though it reports two, two just means, th the little uh, sub A means that this is just the first mode of several. Uh, so in those cases, you would probably want to look at a frequency table to figure out what the other modes are. Another, another easy and convenient way to look for this information is analyze descriptive statistics descriptives. Uh, once again, we can move all of these variables over to the right. Uh, and we can click on options and click to view the mean, standard deviation, variance, range, uh, and get that information that way. It presents it a little bit differently, and it's impossible to get the mode and the median using this technique, but if you just very quickly need the mean and standard deviation, uh, it's perfectly ex a perfectly valid way to do so, and also presents it in rows rather than in columns, which you might prefer. But that's it. We've now successfully used SPSS to compute six different statistics in probably much less time than it took you to do it by hand. And that's it for Chapter 3.